Hello YouTube. These are two of my color spectrum analyzers that I finished for a customer in the United States. Dear John, these are yours. So I wanted to start with the music. I hope I did kind of hit your taste, although it's not possible to hit everybody's taste, but this is what I found on uh, let me show it. Vlog, no copyright music. So, let me show you the analyzers up close. So, this is the front. Oh, I forgot I was going to take off the screen protectors. Well, anyway, I'll leave that up to John to take those off. Um, these come with a carbon fiber front and carbon fiber back. They run with 5 volts and this is the stereo 3.5 millimeter audio jack input. Uh, don't mind, this has 4 connections because it's for a cell phone but uh, it does work regular stereo has only three prongs like this so anyway um, these are the and here I had the Y splitter to split the signal to both um, analyzers so these are finished and will ship out tomorrow and as you might have noticed in the video in the while it, <coughs> while it was playing music there is a touch sensor on the right side only and there you can just touch it and then it changes the animation so if you have missed that you can go back in the video and watch it again but uh, this is it, as I said, they run with 5 volts. I am, as of uh, a few months, using silicone wires. So these are high quality silicone wires with very fine strands. And I also use these with, um, with my gear indicator, which is actually based off the same PCB. And... Uh, Yes, uh, these are not cheap, but uh, I'm not using a whole length of it, so it, I want. I just want to use silicone wire, and the main reason for that actually is, if you have regular uh, wire with a plastic uh, insulation, and you thin the wires, which I do when I solder it to the board. Uh, it just melts away and I hate that and silicon wires are heat insensitive so even if you thin out if you thin how you call it if you put solder thin on here on the wires um, it does not melt the insulation so this is it not really much to it <clears throat> and these are the IPS displays that I'm using with 240 by 240 pixels and they have great viewing angles and are just great and I love them and this is a 3d printed frame that I'm using with my 3d printer and I think these are really really nice and this is ABS so if you happen to have this uh, you could use it in your car in that case i could make it with a 12 volt input but these are 5 volt please john do not put 12 volt on here so i could make it technically also with a 12 volt input and you could then use this in the car and i can technically also make it a double version which i have somewhere now that I want to show it I cannot find it but I can have 
this made into one enclosure and I have double carbon fiber front panels so if you want this as one unit you can get that as well John wanted it separate so he wants to put them next to his speakers which are obviously not standing together but are apart standing apart so this is it uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I also want to thank uh, thank you to say thank you to my supporters, be it on Patreon or through Banggood affiliate links. Every little helps. And I actually just got an email from Banggood uh, yesterday and they offered me new items for review. And one of them is the M5 paper. That's the ESP32 M5. You might know I don't have an M5, so I cannot show you. But it is a e-paper display uh, device with 4.7 inch something display. But anyway, um, you will see the video as soon as I receive it. And I just wanted to thank Banggood as well for sending me the review units and to you people who either use my links affiliate links uh, for the special product or a general affiliate links and i do get a small percentage from those so this was it thank you and uh, stay healthy